Well, hey, to all you cool cats and kittens, this is obviously your host, Mr. Hi. And don't worry, I am not trying to interrupt your show. This is just a teaser, a trailer, to talk about my show, The Anytime Time Show. Have you seen it yet? I hope so. If not, what are you waiting for? Go on. Go on and find my show, The Anytime Time Show with Mr. Hi. See you all soon. And subscribed. Hey, hey, hey. Are you listening to me? You better have subscribed to my channel, youtube.com forward slash Hollywood Insider TV. Yep. Fact Check Series, Rock Hudson and 32 Things You Might Not Know About the Hollywood Icon Written by Rebecca Brightfeller Rock Hudson was one of Hollywood's first heartthrobs and ultimately ruled the screen during the Golden Age. The world's favorite leading man, Hudson, took Hollywood by storm and proved that he had the it factor the entertainment world was thirsty for. Hudson quite literally ruled the silver screen in the 50s and 60s, starring in over 60 films before he passed away. Known for his epics, romantic comedies, and more, Rock Hudson quickly became a household name and he was also gay. Though he was one of the most popular stars of his time, here are 32 facts you may not have known about him. Fact 1. Rock's birth name. Rock Hudson was actually born in 1925 as Roy Harold Shearer Jr. Hudson's stepfather, Wallace Fitzgerald, eventually adopted him and he became Roy Fitzgerald. It was only when he entered the world of acting that he started donning the iconic name of Rock Hudson. Fact 2. How did Rock Hudson get his break into Hollywood? In 1947, Henry Wilson, a Hollywood giant in talent representation, took an interest in Rock. Roy Fitzgerald at the time, Wilson is the one who gave him the name Rock for Rock of Gibraltar and Hudson from the Hudson River. Fact 3. Just a small town guy. Hudson grew up far away from the glamour of his Hollywood career. He was born in Winnetka, Illinois, roughly 16 miles from Chicago. The town is small even today with a population of roughly 12,400 people. Fact 4. His acting start. Before Rock Hudson signed a contract with Warner Brothers, he had no acting training whatsoever. They took interest in him regardless. And with his contract, the company also supplied Hudson with acting classes. Fact 5. Rock Hudson's one true love. To his biographer, Sarah Davidson, with whom he had co-authored his biography, Rock stated that his one true love was Lee Garlington a man that he had been in a relationship with for several years during the 60s. Garlington only found out that Hudson called him his one true love after his death. Lee Garlington stated to People magazine, I broke down and cried. I had no idea I meant that much to him. Why didn't he tell me? Fortunately, there has been significant progress in Hollywood and beyond. It's just too bad that Rock didn't live long enough to see our culture evolve. Hudson did not have the opportunity to live his life the way he wanted to and he had to go around hiding. He would be elated by how much has changed and remember how handsome he was and what a great time we had together. He was the kindest man I ever met. Fact 6. The part that launched his stardom. Hudson had had parts in close to 30 different films before George Stevens' Giant came along. A big time Texas epic starring himself and Elizabeth Taylor, Giant is a film that really launched Hudson into stardom. Part earned him an Oscar nomination and further confirmed Hudson's talent and magnetism. James Dean also starred in this film and also received an Oscar nomination. Fact 7. Look Magazine defined Hudson as Notable publication Look Magazine defined Rock Hudson as He's wholesome. He doesn't perspire. He has no pimples, he smells of milk. His appeal is cleanliness and respectability. The boy is pure. Fact 8. His most important role. 
While on location for The Ambassador, Hudson was asked which movie of his felt most important. He told the interviewer that in terms of gratification, in terms of the best role, I would, I would say giant. Fact 9. Hudson's views on television. Though he appeared in a selection of television series, Rock Hudson was a much bigger fan of the big screen. In a 1980s interview with Entertainment Tonight, Hudson told Lisa Gibbons. I don't like being on every week. I don't like nose to the grindstone five days a week. Fact 10. Before he was a star. Before he became an acting star, Hudson served in the US Navy during World War II. He made the move to Hollywood and got a job as a truck driver, though he was trying to break into Hollywood the entire time. It wasn't until he got a meeting with Henry Wilson that his career took off. Fact 11, his first credit. In 1949, Hudson got his first credited role in Undertow. He is actually credited as R.O.C. Hudson, which he and Henry Wilson quickly changed to Rock R.O.C.K. Instead, his first listed role was actually for Fighter Squadron, but he was not credited for it. Fact 12. The lengths he went. Before he was a household name, Hudson decided to get surgery on his vocal cords in order to stimulate a deeper voice. He and his agents thought it would add to his star power, but sadly the surgery prevented him from singing. Fact 13. Hudson's height. Rock Hudson was known for his good looks. He was the epitome of a heartthrob and a lot that came from his height. Hudson was 6 feet 4 inches, though many believed he was even taller after starring alongside John Wayne and James Stewart. Um, isn't tall enough? <laughs> <laughs> tall is good. <laughs> tall is very, very good. Fact 14. Rock Hudson's state was inherited by a gay couple. Rock Hudson was very good friends with gay actor George Nader and his lifelong partner Mark Miller. The couple inherited the interest from Hudson's $27 million estate after his death. Hudson had personally stipulated the names in his will. Hudson biographer Sarah Davidson defined Nader, Miller and another person as Rock's family for most of his adult life and they stood by his side with absolute loyalty all his life. Miller noted that him and his partner were platonic friends with Rock Hudson. Mark Miller and George Nader were together as a couple for 55 years until their passing. Fact 15 Out of the Norm In 1966, Hudson signed on to the cast of a sci-fi thriller film called Seconds. The John Frankenheimer film was far different from the light-hearted roles Hudson was previously doing and though he gave a convincing performance, the movie did not do as well as hoped. It wasn't a total failure. The film turned into more of a cult classic, if anything, but it did not become what it was meant to. Fact 16 A Small World He may have grown up miles away from the glamour of Hollywood, but Hudson attended the same high school as many other notable names. Hudson attended New Trier Township High School. Other well-known alumni include Charlton Heston, Rain Wilson, John Hughes and so many more. Fact 17 Starring with Doris Day In total, Hudson and Doris Day were in three films together. They starred in Pillow Talk, Lover Come Back and Send Me No Flowers. The tour were so loved back in the day and people loved the lightheartedness and romance of each of their films together. It's so good to see you. Oh, it's good I to miss see those you. laughs we used to have. Fact 18. Rock Hudson cried upon hearing of James Dean's passing away. Phyllis Gates remembers that when Dean passed away in 1955, Hudson was shattered and his huge frame convulsed with subs. Fact 19. He admired Catherine Hepburn. Rock Hudson met and worked with an array of iconic names such as Elizabeth Taylor and James Dean. However, the one that made the biggest impression on him, he stated in an interview, I admire her tremendously. The woman is more than a star, she is a legend. Her personality is by itself a talent. As an actress, she is able to express her emotions and carry the character that she is portraying on the screen in a breathtaking way that leaves a certain impact. Fact 20. The Castle Rock Hudson had a beloved Beverly Hills mansion which he called the castle and he lived there up to his death. Hudson was proud of his home and took many personal pictures of it. Quite apt of a name given that Rock was known as the King of Hollywood. Fact 12. Multiple takes When Hudson landed his first role in 1948 film Fighter Squadron, it was not with the greatest amount of ease. Hudson reportedly had to complete 38 takes to deliver his line for the film correctly. He may have had some first movie jitters, but luckily it was this uncredited role that got Hudson his contract with Warner Brothers. Right, smaller numbers. Well, we're going to need a bigger blackboard. 
or the Germans are going to need more planes. <laughs> Fact 22, if he never acted, it's hard to imagine Hudson in any other career path. However, if Hollywood had never shown him any love, Hudson said he would have been a gardener. Gardening seems worlds away from the light and fame, but Hudson truly had a love for it. Fact 23, meeting the royals. Rock Hudson was considered Hollywood royalty in his own right, but in 1952, he and actress Veronica Hurt got the chance to meet with Queen Elizabeth II. The pair of actors were in London for the Royal Film Performance, an annual event that premieres a major motion picture which the royal family attends. Fact 24, Hudson loved musicals. Carol Burnett and Rock Hudson starred in the musical I Do, I Do. During a tour in the 1970s, Carol asked Hudson to join her while she took a hiatus from her television special, and Hudson signed on quite easily. I've always taken singing lessons, and I still do. The, never, the reason I never did a musical is universal, Rock told People magazine. I was under contract so long there. They kept asking me what I wanted to do, and I had say a musical, but they never did put me in one. Fact 25, Rock Hudson was close friends with Elizabeth Taylor. They became close friends while filming Giant in 1956, which also starred James Dean. Elizabeth continued to visit Rock Hudson while he was sick and being treated at the hospital. After Hudson's death, Taylor arranged a memorial at his Beverly Hills home, which Hudson's business manager recalls, she did a beautiful job. She was very devoted to him. And we laughed about making chocolate martinis and... Fact 26, his successful television run. From 1971 to 1977, Hudson starred in a television series called Macmillan and Wife. It was his most successful television run and an instant hit among viewers on the NBC network. Hudson starred next to Susan St. James for five seasons before she left the show right ahead of the sixth and final season. Fact 27, Hudson had a great friendship with Doris Day. When the pair met on the set of Pillow Talk, it was a friendship that formed quite easily. In 2011, Doris Day gave an interview about her relationship to Hudson with People magazine and the actress said, I think the reason people liked our movies is because they could tell how much we liked each other. It came across that way on screen. He was a good friend. Their chemistry on screen was palpable and made for several classics. Could always count on Rock Hudson. Fact 28, he was apprehensive about interviews. Hudson attempted to stay out of the public eye. As far as interviews went, in the 1980s, Hudson gave a rare interview with brand new journalist Randa Handler. During the visit, Handler asked Hudson why he disliked interviews. Hudson told her, I have been misquoted so many times over 40 years that I get uptight at the idea of yet another interview. I worry about what would be printed. I enjoy playing the game with press of how my answers are interpreted. Fact 29, Mr. Beefcake. Back in the golden era, a gossip columnist by the name of Sidney Skolsky made the term beefcake popular. The term referred to the hunky fit men that were starring in a string of rom-coms and epics in Hollywood. Hudson was often referred to as a beefcake and one of the most famous hunks on the planet. Fact 30, Hudson's Rolodex. In Santa Monica stands the Artifact Museum, which is the home to many late celebrities' random artifacts as a part of the dearly departed tours. On display is Rock Hudson's Rolodex, along with a couple of personal notes. Fact 31. Dynasty. Towards the end of his life, Hudson did a few television shows, one of the more notable ones being Dynasty. Hudson played Daniel Reese from 1984 to 1985 for a total of nine episodes on the primetime show. There is now a Dynasty reboot which airs on the CW. Fact 32. Hudson's sad passing. In October of 1985, Rock Hudson died due to health issues. Rock Hudson requested that no funeral be held. His body was cremated and a cenotaph was established at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Cathedral City, California. His ashes were scattered in the channel between Wilmington and Santa Catalina Island. The two close friends, couple George Nader and Mark Lincoln Miller, also have cenotaphs established next to Rock Hudson at Forest Lawn Cemetery. We at Hollywood Insider cherish the screen legend Rock Hudson and we wish he had been able to live his life openly and exactly how he wanted, without fearing that the world would stop loving him for simply being gay. Rock Hudson is an idol who is also gay.
I hope that the current and future leading men that are gay are able to accept themselves, live fully outside of the closet and without society's assault while completely celebrating their romantic love, spouse, significant other and not losing out on the leading man status or the fear of being outcast by their chosen industry, society or loved ones. Times are changing for the better as leading men that are gay have also retained their Hollywood leading man title after publicly coming out of the closet. Matt Bomer, Luke Evans, went with Miller, Lee Pace, Brian J. Smith, to name a few. Pete Buttigieg, a gay man married to his husband, has been heralded for being the first out gay presidential candidate to run a successful campaign with massive support from people all over USA towards being president. Although Buttigieg dropped out of the race, his campaign is a victory for society's progress and the world is a much better place than the days Rock Hudson had to hide in for simply loving the man he loves. Besides, the only person who should care about your sexuality is the person you are romantically involved with. No one else. To all the actors reading this that are hiding their sexuality due to fear of acceptance, I hope you accept yourself for being gay, lesbian, etc. and celebrate it without caring about what the world thinks. To all the people reading this that are hiding their sexuality due to fear of acceptance, I hope you accept yourself for being gay, lesbian, etc. and celebrate it without caring about what the world thinks. Rock Hudson was one of the greatest Hollywood leading men and he was a gay man. And yes, that is one sentence whose value remains intact even with his sexuality being listed. Let us celebrate him for his greatness. Hollywood Insider celebrates the gay leading man, Rock Hudson, for all of him.